Hello, welcome to TGG Plays. This is an all new game here. We're playing near a 2010 release from Square Enix. Um, last year, when I did my Game of the Year countdown video, this is uh, the game that I gave my number one place to. Uh, it's a game with many problems, but I think it's bigger than the sum of its parts. And I've been wanting to share it since, so that's what we're going to do. Just know that this is a very, uh, mm, well, we'll call myself near since. That's the name of the character. Um, yeah, this is a very cutscene heavy game, so there will be periods where there'll be some episodes where I don't talk a lot, and I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to do the format of the, of the series, but overall, um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how it goes, but. This is the first episode, so let's, uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Alright, so here we are. We're in ourselves the uh, combat tutorial. Pretty simple uh, Damn combat system. I'll kill you all. Nothing too crazy. You can get a little, a little fun. Like it's as fun as, uh, as you want it to be, really. There's definitely things that you'll be seeing very, very soon that allow you to uh, make it a little bit more in depth. But it is, it is quite straightforward. I think it's the same way that a like a Zelda game is. I don't think it's any more, any more or less simple than a, a Zelda game's combat generally. Is that how I would describe it? Dad. <laughs> you all right, Yuna? <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry. It'll stop in a second, I promise. <laughs> if the monsters hear me, are they... are they gonna come back for me? 
I won't let them hurt you, Yuna. I promise. <coughs> you need to eat something. Stay here. Stay hidden. I'll be right back. <coughs> Yuna. Yeah? Don't touch that book. Not ever. Do you hear me? Yes, Dad. It's actually one of my one of my own. I, I do have some problems with this game, but one of my first problems with the game is actually there right from the beginning. It's those weird bars on the top and bottom of the screens during cutscenes. They're not really s cinematic letterboxing. It's just kind of like this weird. Thing that I can't really describe. Uh, something this game doesn't have, that Zelda does have, is a lock on. Uh, doesn't really need it, I don't think. You'll kind of see why. Actually, in this tutorial. Um, This is where the fun really begins, where you start getting access to your uh, magic abilities, which are kind of awesome. And we can see there's the uh, that blue bar down the bottom there, which basically represents your magic meter. And um, my main physical attack does uh, more damage now too. You also hear these trippy sounds when you kill these things. Uh, these things are called shades. Um, I'm not going to really say too much about them because the way what the, what they actually are is something that kind of makes the story quite interesting. I think, um, as as I've said in the yeah, in some of my previous videos. Oh, this is the other thing. This is the shmup, shmup elements that this game uh, brings in, which is something that I uh, actually really enjoyed. It's got bullet hell elements, even though it's a uh, <laughs> action RPG. Uh, I'll say something. Oh yeah, yeah, the shades are a very, very interesting uh, enemy, especially uh, on the second playthrough, because the second playthrough actually has a bunch of extra cutscenes that show things from the shades' point of view. And, uh... Kind of puts a whole different, whole different spin on things, but I'm not going to talk about that sort of stuff too much yet. I'm just going to... Get through this tutorial. This uh, tutorial actually, like, sets up the game, but, um... The rest of the game doesn't really necessarily reflect reflect this. Uh, this game is set in the Drakengard universe. The Drakengard games uh, are games that I have not actually played before. But this is basically based on one of the possible outcomes after one of the endings in um, in one of those games, basically. So it's kind of like a, as near as basically a spin-off of one of the endings of the Drakengard series, which is such a... 
a, ga a game series with multiple entries, and each entry having multiple endings, and this just happens to be a story based off of one of them. Um, I definitely feel like there's some Evangelion influences with the way that Dark Magic kind of looks at some of this with the uh, imagery. Kind of reminds me a lot of some of the stuff in Neo Genesis, particularly the stuff with the spears, actually. But uh, basically, this is just like a. Well, it is a tutorial. But it's going to set things up in an interesting way where uh, I had, by the time I finished this game, I'd completely forgotten about all this, and all of a sudden it made sense. It was quite clever. All right, let's judge this thing up. Dark Lance. This is a attack that I find myself relying on a hell of a lot. I don't really use a lot of that other magic much, but I use this, especially in boss fights, like a hell of a lot. It's interesting, like the, like this does throw a ton of enemies at you, and they really don't offer up much of a fight, which is a. Uh... I really like it when games offer you up a power trip at the very beginning. I guess like Metroid that does that as well, but this is like a real proper. Like nothing here really stands like a chance at all. Sort of power trip, which is my favorite kind. It's just funny too, because uh, the track that's currently playing in the background is called Snow in the Summer, and ironically it's like we're in the middle of spring, or well, not the middle of spring, but we're well into spring at this point, a couple of weeks into spring, and it's snowing outside. <laughs> that's nice, it just seemed like the appropriate time to, uh, to stop, stop us up. Um, in terms of the reviews, the game got very, this game got very mixed reviews when it came out, um, and I think for once, I think I can actually, actually agree with how mixed it is. This game isn't for everyone, that is for certain, and that's why I'm uh, happy to do a Let's Play, because I've been recommending this game to people for a long time, but I, guess, I think really it's not something that just anyone can pick up and play and really enjoy. I mean, I found it absolutely... I finished it... I did finish it in a couple of days when I started playing it, but uh, I think I said in my uh, Game of the Year video yesterday, like, this was a game that I picked up for about five bucks in a bargain bin with no idea what it was. I just saw the square logo and said, oh yeah, that sounds interesting. But uh, reviews-wise, very, very mixed. And I think that's completely fair. Uh, like, for example, the visuals uh, are pretty underwhelming. I think the art direction of the game is actually phenomenal. But the actual graphical power, or the gra <laughs> technical prowess on display is uh, very reminiscent of like the uh, PlayStation 3 Xbox generation. Alright, so we're gonna take care of this guy. He's not so bad. There are definitely some bosses later on that are... I should have rolled out of the way of that. I didn't. There are definitely some more challenging bosses later on. Oh, come on, come on. Dead man. Yeah, I love that attack. Actually, this is going to be the end of this episode too. There's a long cutscene after I defeat this boss, but... This boss is like the last interactive part of this level, so once this guy is dead, I'm going to be... Uh, <laughs> letting this cutscene play out, and I will be back... Next time... Oh shit, I'm gonna get hit by that eye. Yeah. Alright, I'm behind him. That's where you want to be. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this up now. I hope you enjoyed the rest of this cutscene, and I'm going to uh, just have to say peace out and have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed this playthrough of this game that I'm doing. And, um, oh, never mind. He's still not dead yet. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to use this attack on him there. Ugh. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. 
That's more like it. All right, so peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one, and I will catch you next time. Yona, talk to me. Dad, are you all right? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. That's good. Oh, look. I... I found this while you were gone. A cookie? Hey, that's your favorite. Here. We can split it, okay? No, you take it. Dad, no. You need to eat something. All right. Give me the small half. No. Come on, Dad. You're bigger than me. You have to eat to sur- <laughs> Yona? Yona! Oh no. I dropped the cookie. I didn't mean to. You... You've always been the one helping me. Yona! What have you done? So... So I wanted to... No! Yona! Yona! We need help. We need help! Please, anyone! Help! Help us! Yona. Know.